we're back once again. Here we go. And this is episode 17. Episode 17, it makes you so mad you want to talk with your teeth shut. Yes, and uh, you can reach me at the Real Heim One. And you can reach me at One Take Wheel on Instagram. Just don't be intimidated. You can do it. Don't be afraid. Yeah, you can do it. You can <laughs> hit me up. I'm a really friendly teddy bear. Heck yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so what's been going on? So today, today started off with quite the bang. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to tell you a little tale here. A I didn't mean to ask that question in a foreign language. It was like, oh, yeah. I oh, didn't even know. Like, it just came oh, out yeah. Oh, yeah. Eh? Oh, you know. So. Uh, and the Canadian is back. <laughs> it's always Canada. We're that close to Canada. I can't help it. You know, um, I'm kind of a youper. I could be part youper, maybe. All you fellow Michiganders, you know what a youper is. Who knows? So, who knows where you're from? I'm sleeping. Right? It's early. My wife, she usually gets up early. We don't. We don't get the same days off. And the birds are whistling. Oh, they're not even whistling. Yet. Oh, it's that early. It's that early. It's like um, I want to say like four thirty in the morning. Early. Oh boy. Yeah, she got to be to work at five. So she usually kisses me goodbye. Right? Give a little kiss on the forehead while I'm sleeping. I just at that moment when she was bending over to kiss me, I opened my eyes and the room's black and she wears all black to go to work. Her hat's black, shirt's okay. black, pants are black. Ninja. Ro- so your wife's a ninja. She's a total ninja. That's she works as So she a, tells you she goes to work as so and some something else, but she's really a ninja. Yes. And she thinks I don't know that she's a ninja, but I know she's a ninja. I just don't let her know that I know that she's a ninja. Gotcha. Thankfully she doesn't watch the show. <laughs> So anyway, I open my eyes. She's bending down to kiss my forehead to say goodbye. And the way I see her, the way my mind, my half-awoke mind, paints the picture of what she looks like, I see, like, she's got a mask on. She's all in black. I feel like there's an intruder. I was literally about to scream. Oh, my gosh. Were you going to swing? I was on the verge of going, ah! I was that close. (laughs) I was that close. And then she's like, like, ah! Yeah, she's like, it's me. I'm going to work. And she kissed me on the forehead. I went, okay, bye. And then I couldn't go back to sleep. I was up for after after that. But I was terrified. Fight or flight instinct kicked in hard. That was scared the shit out of me. It was Yeah, definitely got my heart racing right off the bat. I probably would have pulled the sheet up or did something scary or something like that. Rolled out the way. Yeah, it was was intense. Stop, drop, and rolled. It was, uh, you know, I I was able to skip the morning cup of coffee. I didn't need it. I was woke. (laughs) So, you, um... You asked me what song, or no, you told me you would come up with a song for that. For this story? Yeah, what do you think would be a good song for the story? Wake me up before you go-go. <laughs> and wake me up. Ready? Before, before you, you go-go. Go. Don't leave me hang around like a yo-yo. yo-yo. <laughs> I was thinking more like Iron Maiden's Fear of the Dark. Gotcha. But yeah, that was the, that was the uh, introduction to this day. Nice. Beautiful. What a way to start it out. Yeah, beautiful day. What a way to get the heart rate up. And then he, later on, she messaged me. You know, we were talking while she was on her break before I came over here. And I was like, you scared the shit out of me earlier. She's like, I'm so sorry. I'm not going to kiss you goodbye anymore. I feel like I'm always startling you. I'm like, no, don't stop doing that. You were like, no, you did that shit for real. I had to wash the bed sheets. You scared a real <laughs> piece of shit. came out when you scared me this morning. I shook out a whole log. It came out. A nugget. It came out. It, my cheeks were stuck together. I didn't know what to do. I still slept it out. Woke up a little, cr- a little crusty, had to wash the bed sheets. <laughs> the dogs were smelling my crack. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> so, yeah, that was an introduction to uh, this beautiful day. How are you enjoying this weather, man? It's a fantastic. Man, I, I'm getting darker. I'm that's not... why. That's what brings me to our show topic. You know, are we there yet? Like, are we there back to getting, like, so now that the weather's breaking, we can get outside and do shit. You know, let's go outside uh, and do stuff, man. Oh, yeah. For real. Stuff's I, about to open up all the way. We've got to go do it. I think uh, the wife and I are going to try going uh, canoeing tomorrow. Awesome. Yeah. We've had a lot of rain, so the water level should be nice and high. Great weather for it. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. But yes, are we there yet, people? YouTube, let us know. Are we there yet? Because I'm ready. I'm, I need some new shirts. I'm tired of wearing the same old shirts, the same old hats. I need some new stuff. For real. I want to get to a store, and I know we can go to the store now, but I do not want to wait in line to go in. You know what I mean? I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm sick not, of going to the store dressed like a ninja. Yes, I don't want to do that. I don't want to because it's all sweaty. You know what I mean? Because it's warm now. You got the mask on. You're trying to shop. 
all your hot air breathing is coming up against your eyeballs. Smelling it's, your own burps. Yeah, it's gross. I don't like it. Sick of it. It's it's I'm do I'm over it. Over people. it. I'm over it. We're done. We're done. It's over. We're there. Do it. <laughs> Let's go. Over with. <sighs> Let's do this. Round one. Fights. Burp. <laughs> like round one. Burp. Burp. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, we got to be there. Uh, thankfully, thankfully, you know, a positive thing about all this rioting is we don't hear about the coronavirus in the news anymore. Well, yeah, that part of the fear mongering is gone. But check this out, man. Sports are back in July. Oh, shit. I know you're. You they gotta... are back. So when you when you got the news that sports were back, how big was your boner? It wasn't. I like. I felt like I could feel the weight that I'm about to gain because I'm going to be eating all the junk food back to the sport games because now I ain't been watching shit. I ain't nice. watching replays. Nice. I mean, I watched the Last Dance with Jordan, but don't, I mean, but I'm not watching like game replays. I ain't watching that shit. I also got some fantastic news. Cedar Point opens. Yep. yep. Uh, I think we're thinking about going. Get on uh, them coasters. Yeah, I think we're gonna go the Monday after my birthday. Nice. I nice. think we're gonna go check it out on a Monday. That way, you know, we can avoid a lot of the crowd, so we can get a lot of them rides in. That's a good uh, strategy. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, try to keep away from the people. Because I want to ride them coasters. You got that ride pass too, right? Yes, I do. I do. I got it last year. And then because the COVID kicked in, um, it extended. It was only good for this year. But because of the, the invisible enemy, now it's extended all the way through next year too. So I'm, I've am i got free passes all of this year and next year. Awesome, man. Yeah, awesome. It's, it's badass. I'm excited. <clears throat> Being that there hasn't been a lot of sports on, um, actually they've been, I've been catching these weird uh, competitions on uh, Sports Center recently. And I've really been getting into it. I've been, like, kind of watching them pretty frequently now. It's, like, during this this stuff with no other sports. Like, what kind of competitions? They've been having uh, cliff diving. Okay. And rock wall climbing. Interesting. And the cliff diving, man, is insane. They get up there pretty high, man. The, the heights, I don't, I don't know exactly the heights, but, man, they're up there where some of the people, like, you land wrong, it's going to cause you an injury. Yeah, you're you, going to instant injury. I mean, do, don't people die doing that? Yeah, they could. I've yeah. seen uh, I've seen one competition. A lady blew out both of her uh, MCLs in her knees. Ugh, that doesn't sound good. That sounds like you could just like pop your patellas right out, right? It's cra- another lady got her jaw like because she just tilted forward just a, sm- a smudge. You know, that's all oh you need. To hit, and the water's like concrete. And it broke her jaw. Yeah. Oh my god, that's terrible. It's, it's awesome. I mean, not that you get hurt, but the competition was different. It was pretty. It was cool to see something a little different. That sounds awesome. You know, they need to bring in more sports. You know, I know they have fencing, but there's other types of sort fighting that i would like to see done like broadsword fighting or maybe like uh the pirate type fighting with the the rapiers or that... you know it'd be cool if they did those um those jousting things like they did in um gladiator days. Hell american yeah. gladiator oh yeah that would be great like the rock has that new show which is kind of cool it's it's borderline Have you watched it yeah i like i it. haven't seen it it's, yet. it's okay it's pretty competitive um but i think it's borderline like you could go a little further and make it like that it'd be a little it would be pretty cool they... they're, they're big foam so it's not like you what, know, you'd be getting too hurt. What was that show that, oh well, yeah, American Glider. They just need to bring that show back again, because I think that would be just as entertaining. And play it on ESPN or whatever. They used to do those obstacles, and they had those guys shooting, like, tennis balls at you. Hell and you, yeah. You know, you got hit, you were out. That was a great, that was you great. You were eliminated right away. That was so entertaining. That was good 90s stuff. We did, How come we didn't talk about that in last episode? I'm not sure, but that, that was, was part of the way back when. For sure, that should have been, that was a big time popular thing in the 90s. For sure. And then, uh, but that rock wall climbing was so cool that I'm into it now. So it, it got my interest into the sport itself. Uh, these walls look don't even look that big. Some of them are like under 30 feet. But the the complicated uh, places where 30 you can, feet's pretty damned high. Right. Well, I mean, compared to what you would see on like you know people climbing mountains or them big you know things. Outside, okay. Okay, I got you. You would think that it's not a big deal, but the way they strategically have to put your hands in these places or put pressure on your body to almost make yourself a clamp. You know, to get to the next per- way, it was like, it was pretty cool. It was entertaining. So I was into it. You were telling me uh, that that place is going to open, and I'm going to. It get, is open. I'm going to. I'm going to go with you. It's official. I'm going to take my fat ass out there, and we're going to. Yeah. We're going to climb some walls. But the way you made it sound is they were only maybe like 15, 20 feet high. I didn't realize there's going to be thirty. No, they're more. There's higher than that. But really, the, one, the the higher level, there's like competitive levels. Oh, um, okay. So the higher the level. The hills don't necessarily get as high, but they're just way complicated just to get so, to these distances. So, listen, don't be surprised if maybe I wear, like, some Depends. <laughs> um, it ain't going to be that bad your first time because you're going to have to do a class first. I'm, I'm not afraid of heights. 
I, I have a rational fear of heights. And what I mean by that is I can stand on a ladder and I can okay. stand on a roof. Okay. Yeah. But you get me to a certain elevation without any kind of um, safety, I start to get scared. All right. Um, I don't know what it is. It's just maybe the fact that my brain tells me, hey, if you fall, you're going to die. <laughs> you're going to die. You're going to die. I swear. I, I do declare you're going to die. <laughs> But yeah. I'm Skip Winkman, and I'm about to tell you the truth. You're going to die right now. <laughs> Come on down. There's no need to hide. S- Don't be shy. Yeah. It's- I'm not going to walk you by your hand, son. <laughs> but I'm definitely into it. We're going to check it out. Uh, I'm going to do some rock climbing, people. It's yeah, going to be, be cool. Awesome. I was really good at climbing stuff as a kid, and then I got fat. It's so, somewhat, you know, you're using your whole body and your mind. It's like a crazy chess game. So we'll uh, see. They're if, not just like ladders, you know. It's not like just going to you're the ones you would see at a carnival. So let's see if we can uh, still hoist myself up. We're gonna check it out. <laughs> we might even do a little uh, video broadcast. Yeah, we're from for sure gonna put location. it on a channel. It'll for sure be an episode. Um, it will document it and we'll put it on. Uh, Absolutely. It'll be on Time Time Vision for sure. So, um, attire wise, can I wear um like a wife beater and a speedo? You can wear whatever you want to be comfortable in. I'm, I'm, I don't know about the speedo part. I mean, you might have to call and ask that. Okay. Okay. All right. What if I wear some if, short shorts? You might shorts? be able to wear that if it has like shoulder straps. Yeah. <laughs> what if I wear some short shorts? If it's like a one and then piece. A G string, but I do the whole whale tail with the G string. You should show up in a wrestling outfit. <laughs> you know, in a wrestling with sling. With the ear guards. The, the singlet. <laughs> yeah, the, that with the ear guards. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. Uh, I don't think my butt crack could handle that. <laughs> I don't think the people there could handle it. No, they couldn't. This is not something you want to see in that kind of clothing. Especially with a rope harness. Oh, God. <laughs> They'd be like, he's got a belay. And belay is when you help the other per- You know, you got a body weight, counter- counterweight to help a person go down as if they were falling or if they were going down like a military style. That's yeah, so how does that work? Is. Um, so but you're going to go to a class, and they're going to teach you how to do all that, and so, then you can go free and climb. Okay. Are you going to be belaying me? Yeah. Well, that's kind of scary because I outweigh you. I used to be a certified climber back in the day for a tree oh, company. Oh, so okay. I know how to do it. It's not going to be my first road. I'm a certified bullshitter. <laughs> <laughs> you got a PHBS? I got a PhD in BS, or I got a BA in BS. A BA degree. Yeah, all right. A big, big ass degree. What? So we were talking about sports earlier. You know, how's a way to get fans all back in the stadiums? And I got a fix for that. Oh, you do? Yeah, give me one sec. All right. Give me one sec. <clears throat> well, look at this. Look at this. This is perfect. Uh. What's wrong with this? You could be next to everybody. You could still pull it under your beer, drink your beer, curse at everybody. That's and my beautiful. And my shoes can shield it right under this face. That's corona protection right there. And you can right just put there. whatever team on a face. I can throw a beer at your face. You're protected. Defense. I can spit, you know, a big wad of chew right in your eyeball. Protected. Let's go. I, You know, you you got corona protection. Somebody burps, you know, one of them big fat guys, and a piece of hot dog comes flying out of their mouth. Do it. Slaps you right in the grill. Do it. Protected. Do it. Not getting through. <laughs> I love It'll it. protect me from your burps, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going to need it. Um, does it funnel the air? No, it funnels the air like shit, so you'd just be spitting on yourself at least, but it wouldn't be <laughs> spreading everywhere. And we can go to fucking games. <laughs> Everybody needs these things. This could be the no sh- new social no new no new fudge new, the new social fudge? distancing headgear. Instead of wearing the mask, you wear that. Yeah, because the only person you'll be spraying is your damn self. That's right. It's not escaping that mask. Speaking of spraying yourself, no. What? Um, I said, speaking of spraying yourself or injuring yourself, and I'm just oh. kidding. There's these new products on the line, dude, that everybody talks about and everybody wants you to use and oh, shit about. Oh, yes. They want you to, like, man, like shave, like, your man areas and stuff, get your man areas all yeah, clean. They got all these new uh, devices to help you dethatch your grassy knoll. <laughs> so, man, I went and used one of these things. And? and? I don't know what you're talking about, man. I almost wanted to start a new rock band name because of shit that happened to me. We'll call this band Assassinate My Genitals. Yeah, this thing wanted to assassinate my genitals. This thing was coming up and it says, oh, <laughs> we got this this new 7.9 motor on there. It's not going to hurt you and skin protector. Man, that thing fucked me up. 
These blades fly around at a blinding 70 million RPMs. <laughs> yeah, more like 12 RPMs, and it'll fucking pull the fucking hair out. It ain't even, it's like fucking plucking you. It ain't cutting shit. It'll decimate your hairs down there. Nothing will grow for the next century. Like, coming out live, assassinate your genitals. I love it. That sounds fantastic. You know, Yeah, they, that stuff was bullshit. How about the fact that they advertise it's got a light on it? Yeah, for why, what? Why are you shaving in the dark to begin with? What the fuck? You don't got a light on your bathroom? This is what it is. This you is, shave at night? This is what it is. This is for the people who are so afraid to trim their um, their jungle region that they get under the covers with the lights off and they're trimming because they don't want anybody to know. Yeah, but they then, cover up the windows and the blinds yeah. and they're like, oh, we, and we just, can't have this Nobody happen. knows that I'm, I'm, I'm defacing my uh, genital regions. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm mowing the under unmentionable area's lawn. I'm I'm wading through the jungle with a machete, just chopping at every branch and tree that I can find. I'm just trimming and skimming. You know, it's real easy, people. You just get two beard and mustache trimmers, okay? One for your face, one for your dingleberries. All I got to say is everybody's skin is a little different and just find the stuff that you need for yourself. That bullshit is bullshit that they're selling you. I am very glad to have um, the round hair. You know how I know some people, some ra- some species of our fellow humanoids have that flat hair that grows curly. You know what I'm talking about, right? Uh-huh. And you can't trim close, I guess, because the stuff will ingrow grow real easily. I don't have that issue. I can just I just go right down there with a blowtorch and just burn it all off. <laughs> I guess that'll do it. I take a piece of aluminum foil and I wrap it around my nuggets and I just blast away. And it's gone. It's gone for like weeks. Yeah. And you know what's crazy? Um, somebody's <laughs> being, I'm going to be changing the subject on this. Okay, change the subject. How about like those weird people on social media to get all offended? On stupid little shit, like if you don't like their post or if you do like their post. Or they put this little post out there and they know they're going to draw comments. And then when you do comment, they want to go and act like little bitches and shit. Or report your ass or do some stupid, put you in Facebook jail. I have a story that relates to this topic. Okay. I'm glad you brought it up. All right. So, the other day, can I name drop? I wouldn't name drop. All right, we're not going to name drop. We're going to leave this individual. Nobody even knows who we are yet, so we shouldn't drop their punk-ass names. Okay. This Caucasian female, I'm just going to call her a Caucasian female, fellow Caucasian female. Well, I'm a male, but whatever. Anyway. A fellow Caucasian female, (laughs) like yourself. Okay. This is getting interesting already. She had a post. Please continue. She had a post, and um, the post read, Black Lives Matter, and then underneath it, it said All Lives Matter. And at the top, her comment was, trying something, want to clean out my friends list. Okay. I was confused, so I asked, I did what any logical person would do. I asked a question, and the question was, how does this clean out your friends list and forgive my ignorance? (laughs) And out of Courtesy, from what I understand, it's courteous to like a post before you comment on it. Oh, yeah. I put the like, I clicked the like thing. So, her reply was something to do with, um, until black lives matter, no lives matter, and this is not a debate for me, um, and then she unfriended me. Well, that, (laughs) that didn't answer the question, first of all, because my question had nothing to do with the black lives matter, all lives matter. I just wanted to know... What what is the purpose of this to, to uh, you know to clean out your friends list? I don't get it. So now that person might have got offended, thinking maybe you were not smart, and she got offended, so she decided to unfriend you because she's like feeling you know sensitive with what's going on. But I I honestly, being a minority myself, like I said, I don't I don't find those kind of things offensive I, when somebody asks a question. I think questions are good for people that don't right. know because I mean. Rather, rather than say the wrong thing, you're asking for information. Clarification. So you could say the right thing. And um, I just kind of feel like that person was out of line. Like, I mean, absolutely, you, you took the respect to even go there and ask the question, even in public, because it's social media. Right. So then I privately messaged her. I said, hey, what's up? Why did you unfriend me? All mm-hmm. I did was ask you, 
what was the what is the meaning behind your post? Uh huh. And I uh, I says, you know, being a teacher is an important part of bringing inquiring minds together so that we all become enlightened. And then I blocked her bitch ass. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got blocked. Yeah, because I was like, you have I'm, now been ghosted. Because I don't want to deal with that level of stupidity. If you're so, um, I don't know what's the word, ignorant. I yeah. guess her intolerance of my ignorance, this is what I told her. I says, your intolerance of my ignorance to your question is just as bad as the intolerance the police have towards the black community. And a lot of things like that. You know, some people are ready to listen. If you ask a question and they want to learn something, that's that's what it's all about. You know, inform. Get everybody information. Everybody communicate. Ne- everybody needs to take the time to educate people who don't know and who are unaware. And if you know, you don't be a dick. And don't be a dick, right? Don't be a dick for no reason. That's just, that's just dumb. You ever seen those? Um, you ever seen those videos where those people are like super fucking like super crazy, outrageous, drunk? Absolutely, I love those videos. They're highly entertaining. <laughs> they look like they got like an ocean going on in their brain because they're just like, and they can't even. Some of them guys can't even walk. Like what well, that one dude looked like he was walking to rewind. It's like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man got wasted. Or them dudes look like they're like just lean backwards the whole time they're walking. They're just like that permanent <laughs> lean. And it was like, where's the wall at, buddy? You ain't gonna find one. You're gonna keep going. But uh, uh, that what brought me up to that is because uh, I was watching. Uh, we're, I'm a fan of Joe Rogan. Yep, um, so, so am I. We was watching his episode, man, and I, I'm wondering if he got a little deposit on that Spotify money because I was watching this episode yesterday. It must have went on for like five hours, and uh, he was just like fucking by the by. He started getting hammered, and by like the third hour, this dude was so trashed. He, oh my gosh! In the words of some famous rapper who I can't know the name of. <laughs> He got crunk on that episode. Yeah, he did. He got fucking obliterated. He and, got, like, it was crazy. He started yelling at this band. I know. It was hilarious. He's like, gloves don't work. <laughs> he started, and, you know, he was, like I said before, he was, if there was comedians in the room, they would have knew what was happening. He was testing out some material, but it was two musicians, and they were, like, the most, like, like, uh, what is that, like, calm, like. Yeah, they were uh, pretty chilled. Well, chilled I think they were a little people, drunk, docile. too. Yeah, but they were still these quiet, timid people. Well, yeah. And Joe Rogan's like yelling at him, like, <laughs> he's like, people that drive with masks on are bitches. And he's all screaming at these people. And they're all looking at each other. He called one person Mike, and the guy was like, who? He's like, what? It would <laughs> they be were like, all scared as hell. It would be like if, if two normal people were drunk in a room with a drunk bear. That's what the situation was kind of like. <laughs> it was crazy. It was like. Like uh, somebody got temporarily possessed by Sam Kinison and just started screaming. Rogan was just like people. Rogan was just like, I'm moving to Texas and I'm gonna fucking fly people to Texas. Come on to Texas. Yeah, we like, can we can drunk. be friends. Yeah. I'll fly you to Texas. We'll be friends, Let's everybody. Be friends. Fly to Texas. I'm gonna be in Austin. <laughs> Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'll just take the whole studio and do the same thing in Austin. He's like, and I'll fly you guys out every day. It was crazy. He was trashed. He it was w- hammered. It was funny. And you know what? The crazy, the other crazy bit about it, it was those two people were musicians. I watched them in in almost five hours. They played two songs, <laughs> two and songs. the rest of the time, all they did was tune up and change instruments around. They were passing around instruments like they were playing hot potato while getting yelled at by Joe Rogan. While getting- <laughs> Joe Rogan was just screaming at him. Every time Joe Rogan would yell, they would have to throw an instrument around. How about, how about when he told them the, <laughs> that they would fold under pressure in interrogation? He was like, you'll fold under pressure. And, and guy, they're like, what? That guy's the like, guy what says, are you talking what? about? He goes, in the interrogation. In the interrogation room, <laughs> you, would you would fold. He like turned into Ellis <laughs> Jones like mid, like mid-fucking sentence. <laughs> Oh, that was funny. I didn't know who it was for a minute there. He's like, his voice changed into Alex Jones. How about that lady? She's like, I like your crew here. He's like, crew? What are you talking about? It's just me and Jamie. Jamie. He's like, what the (laughs) fuck? He's all hammered. What are you talking about? Oh, my God. That was hilarious. That That was a terrible episode, but it had some funny bits. It was terrible and kicked ass at the same time, if that makes sense. So, all these things been happening, all this crazy stuff's been happening in the news. Yeah. What do, you, what do you think the next media takeover is going to be? I'm ready for it. You ready for this? Yes. Okay. I think. I, I think. Yellowstone is going to explode. Super volcano. Dun, dun, dun. 
telling you, man, it's time for the super volcano. They says we're like, uh, what, like a million years overdue for this thing to just blow its top? Yeah, and there's even parts of it that even swell like 10 feet, they say, like the floor expands and weird shit like that. That would be wild to see. I would like to see that place sometime. I mean, you know, pre-explosion, what, of course. You, you never been? No, I've never been. So, uh, do you remember when they had the fires back in the 90s? Uh, yes. Okay, so we went post-fire uh, as a kid, and it was, it was even though, it, like, half of it was burnt down, uh-huh. it was still beautiful. We saw Old Faithful and, you know, a bunch of other, um, of the hot springs, and, like, it's really, it's really damned cool. I, I haven't been there in a long time. I would definitely love to go again. We should plan to do that. For sure. I would love to do it nice again. Nice little West Coast trip. Yeah, that would be badass. But here's my question. If Yellowstone goes up, are we in the blast area, or are we going to get the nuclear winter and we going to die of starvation? It's going to be um, a really, I mean, co- according to, like, science and whatnot, it's going to be a really bad explosion, you know, put the ash up in the sky for right. years and blah, blah, all that jazz. But are we in the blast zone? Like, is Michigan going to get took out from the explosion? Anything that I, Anything that happens to me in the West Coast or whatever is going to make, like, the Midwest area, like an island, there's gonna be like islands, and I don't know if Michigan's gonna make it or what, because we're already surrounded by water. Yeah, that's true. And it's going up now. That's true. Yeah, I know the water levels keep rising. This is the highest the water's been in a long time. That's why we had all that flooding. That's why them dams broke is because they just they can't hold it back. Just like that Led Zeppelin song. We've been having. You know what's been weird? Speaking. You know, I don't know. I'm gonna get serious for a second. Okay. There's been all this waterfall, but not as much uh, evaporation happening, which has been really weird because the sun to me has been feeling way hotter. Dude, it's been feeling hotter, but it's not as much evaporation, I, which uh, doesn't make sense to me. I I'm not a scientist, though. I 100% I'm not a scientist. agree with you. Last weekend, we had a day that it was in what? What, the high was like 70? Yeah, yeah. The sun, there wasn't a cloud in the sky, and the sun was brutal. That sun felt like it was about three inches from my sack. Yeah, it was cooking. It was brutal, and it was only like 70 degrees outside. I got a sunburn that day. It was incredibly hot. So anyway, um, well, you deviated from our main objective here. Um, let's circle back around. Yeah, kind of got off the media takeover. Yeah, yeah. Let's. Uh, My bad. So I think um, Yellowstone is going to explode. What do you think? My next, uh, the next media takeover. Yeah. What do you think the next media takeover is going to be? Well, my friend, I think there's nothing else left. Really? I don't think there's anything else left except one scenario. Uh oh. Only one scenario. What could it be? Aliens. <gasps> yeah, buddy. I think that's all that's left. I mean, what else you got? We had all these viruses. We had multiple initial terrorists, like yep. every terrorist after mo- so Antifa. I go down these YouTube rabbit holes and watch all these conspiracy things and all these, you know, right, whatever. Right. So all do these I. People that get ridiculed if they're telling. Most people telling the truth or whatever made them look crazy. And some people actually are just crazy. Yeah, exactly. It's entertaining, if, if nothing else. So this one person says they were talking to Mr. Von Braun. Oh, shit. You know, the guy shnacks. we got after after the Nazi war and all that stuff. And this guy came and helped us make the rockets that we used to get us a space. I mean, sure. You know, before Tesla. You know, Tesla's the man right now. Yeah, post. Shout out, shout out uh, Elon Musk. So in case you guys don't know, Werner Von Braun was a German scientist from World War II who used to use Jewish people as test dummies in their scientific research. Yeah, he did a lot of sick stuff. But after we won the war, you know, we took a lot of top scientists back to America and kept them for our stuff. I apologize, people. I did not put my phone on mute. You should ridicule me for that. So this guy was with us for a long time, got into the NASA program and, you know, made a bunch of our rockets, did all this stuff. And this video I saw, he made friends with this one woman. And she was saying that on his deathbed, he told that there were five stages. And he said the five stages was going to be like Russia. And then after Russia, it was going to be all these different terrorists. And then it was going to be some asteroids, which it seems like every week we got a new asteroid coming. I but, know. Don't and, we have uh, one coming this week that's supposed to fly within like three million miles of the Earth or something like that? Yeah, it was something like that. And then I forget what the other one was, like third world countries. You okay. Know, like all that kind of stuff, like Serbia, like when we were doing all that kind of crazy stuff. Oh, right, right, and right. And then he was like the last one was the alien invasion. I feel like that's the last one. So do you think the aliens are going to come? Like, we're in June now. I'm going to tell you right now, man. I think they already are here. I don't mean to shock anybody. I just think they've been here. I, 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 you know, you might want to think we're crazy, but I agree with him. I believe that they've been here. I 
I think they've been here since antiquity. And if in, there is going to be opinion. an invasion, that they're going to make it seem like one, but we they already been here, so they're going to make it look like, oh, I guess we'll introduce us like the old school way. So, you know, like I like to mess around with like music recording, producing, and all yeah. that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, you love so that stuff. I watch some videos here on, you know, seeing what people are doing these days and what equipment they're using. Sure. And I come across this video that was pretty old. It wasn't a recent video, but oh, I decided I to check it out, about. man. And uh, so I see the, the, you know, the thumbnail, and it's this guy. And I cook the video, and he's in the side of his recording studio, and he's, you know, talking about acoustics and you know rooms for acoustics and good sound. It's good sound quality. But <laughs> there was something that was very unique of every video I've ever watched on recording audio. Can I hop in here for a second? But Okay, okay. Okay, go ahead. What was your question? No, I wasn't going to ask a question. I was going to just interject. I can't let you spoil. Okay, okay, go ahead. Then then, then I'll Okay, back to where I was. Let me rewind that back. But <laughs> there was a lot of these unique things that were going on with this producers like techniques for recording right right and i don't know if it was for shuck and all or if it was for like the entertainment value or if it was like um, time if it was like a scientific you know reason for what he was doing a scientific hole. but yes his f entire face looked like was ca covered in vaseline yes it was his whole face was covered in vaseline yes it was and it didn't look like vaseline when you first clicked the no, video no it did not i am like what am i watching why is this guy covered in vaseline and then why is he talking in like these church tones why does it look like he got stuck in a bukaki whale festival yeah why was he in a, the like the victim of a circle jerk what, <laughs> what did did this show um what was that show where they slimed you did they just change the color of the slime? Yeah, he was like in the pilot episodes of Nickelodeon's first sliming. Oh, my God. It was intense. Or no, he was on that show. You can't do that on television. Yeah, you, and you still can't do that you, on television. Yeah, you still can't do That's it. That's why it's only on YouTube. So uh, you sent me the video. And at the time when I opened the video, I was sitting on my toilet. And you came in through the screen on my phone. And you put toothpicks in my eyes to force my eyeballs open, then hit play on the video. And I was forced to watch this man <laughs> who appeared to be covered in what looked like man sauce. just the thickest semen sauce you could possibly imagine. And It I was just, crazy. And then he's talking about uh, sound quality. And then he just sits there. While these weird sound effects are going on, and Very it looked strange. like he was spaced out, like he went on some psychedelic journey while listening to the sounds while covered in Vaseline. And then his voice sounds like he was on like some kind of like CO2 or something. He was like, all rooms could be used for acoustics. Like he was possessed and shit, like the, the underlord was there and something coming through him. You know, it puts a whole like, take new... take my hand to the promised land. It puts a whole new spin to the term flies in the Vaseline. Crazy, dude. Crazy was, in the Vaseline. It was wild. But the he dude probably he probably misinterpreted that and put his eyes in the Vaseline. The <laughs> shit was even on his eyelashes, dude. <laughs> he had on like his eyelashes. You could see like I was surprised it wasn't in his eyeball. I think he used like uh what's what's that gun where you just sprays out all the goop so you can like uh, a, a gunite machine, isn't that what they're called? Yeah, I'm almost thinking he just dumped his head in a bucket. I, I don't know what it was, if he went swimming in Vaseline, or maybe he had a super soaker full of Vaseline, because it was even just gobbed on his face. Somebody from the other room was just throwing globs of Vaseline at his gullet. <laughs> Disgusting. It, is, it was just, it was weird. But the guy had some interesting recording techniques. I'll give him that. He had some <laughs> interesting acoustics. I found acoustics. it impossible to even listen about that. I was sitting there just blown out. And then all of a sudden, like, he got to a normal part where he starts talking about a microphone. And I'm like, okay, this microphone's nice. I'm interested. And then there's shit all over his face, man. I'm like, what the fuck am I looking at? So it almost was a little ASMR-ish. And uh, even if that's not a word, I don't care. I'm he saying was like, it anyway. welcome to the underworld of recording. So I put some headphones on, and I put the phone down, and I just listened to the audio. And it was pretty ASMR-ish. It was pretty weird. Check it out, people. Man does sound tests covered in whale semen. How about the fact that you get so mad? You ever seen somebody who gets so mad that they clench their teeth? 
Oh yeah, they get crazy. And they start, where they can't even talk without opening their mouth. Yeah, they, they they don't open their mouth to speak. They just do the teeth. I'm just so mad. Mm-hmm. That's that's how you know somebody's so angry. And then you got the double mad where they got that Trump anger where they look up with their teeth closed. The, you know, yep. People that get so mad they look upward. I yep. got a friend that does that shit. He'll get mad as hell and he'll start yelling and bitching about shit and he just looks up and he don't got a lazy eye or nothing. You know when you got the person with the lazy eye and like which you don't know which one to look at and you're like, hey man, do I like get in this side of his vision or this side of the vision? No, he like he did get mad and just look up. Like, this is fucking so fucked up situation. And I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Is he talking to God? I don't know what's going on. So I got that angry the other day where I was I wasn't looking up, but I was, you know, m- mouth closed, uh, angry oh, yelling. Yeah. Oh yeah. And that was at our new zebra tag scanner. This thing had him so frustrated. Oh my gosh! And it just got it. And you know, I called it out too when you got it. I was like, "You get what you pay for." This is probably some forty dollars shit. He called it out on the dot. He was like one <laughs> like penny off. It was thirty nine ninety nine. We looked it up on Amazon. It was thirty nine ninety nine. And he's like, Who's? "I was like, how much you think it is?" He's like, 40 bucks." I was like, "Yep, you're right on the money." Thirty nine ninety nine. So this thing, unless it is flat. Perfectly flat. Perfectly flat zebra tag on a flat surface. It will only pick it up 78.2% of the time. Not even 100% of the time. So I was getting so pissed off. It's got to be thing. perfectly flat. Like Perfect. a stuck up white girl's butt flat. <laughs> like that. Where the back pockets touch flat. That's it, what I'm talking about. It's got... <laughs> You need that prescription pill, no acetal, no acetal cream. <laughs> That's how flat this got to be because or else that shit ain't scanning nothing at all. Sometimes you'll get one. It'll scan and it'll like, bling. And you'll be like, all right, you got one. And then I just like five more. And I'm having to read him off the numbers so that he can type them into the computer. And I start <laughs> reading off the numbers. I'm like, four, one, six, three, eight. And he's like, So I noticed that he's getting frustrated and I'm like, dude. <laughs> I got a question for you. I was like, can you say words with like THs with your teeth all closed like that? And he starts like, like what? And he's like, I'm like, say something like the and shit. So I start yelling at the skin. I'm like, this motherfucking thing is pissing me off so much. I'm about to whip it across the room. I used to play basketball with some dude at this uh, this one rec center. And he used to talk with his teeth like that when you get mad. All the time? He'd come through and like he didn't want nobody to hear him talking. So he'd keep his teeth together. Be like, look, man, I'm going to guard him. No matter what you do, you come screen. I'm going to get through that screen. I'm going to keep guarding his head. And I'm like, wait, what? Everything sounded like fucking the same thing you just said. I says, her swizz a whizza and shiz a whizza. I'm and like, he goes, I'm going to guard his ass. So he slowed it down for me. I'm like, okay, I got you. I'm <laughs> I'm yelling at the zebra. I'm like, if you don't get this barcode right now, I'm going to throw you against the ground. If you, you better scan this one. Come on, scan it, bitch. And then if, scan you, it. And Come then on. if you set this scanner down for a minute and then pick it back up, it decides it has to reset. Yeah. So you hit the first trigger, and the trigger ain't doing nothing but turning it back on. Yeah, and then when it turns on, it's got this obnoxious sound. It's like it's almost like it's yelling at you. <laughs> like a hiccups and yeah, shit. Yeah, it, it's, like, it's like, hey, I'm waking up. Or it's in pain, like, ow. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to work. Or it's like, what do you want? I'm only four. $40, you can't expect me to do all this. Or what about them people that you come across, like, speaking, like, where they get angry and shit like that or want to admit to fucking that they ain't shit? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah. Or, to, like, no matter what you do, they just want to admit that you're right, no, no matter what you do. Like, yeah. it doesn't matter your ex- explanation. Kind of like, like. Two plus two is four. Like, but wait. No, what, it's not. What if, what if one plus three was? And, That's like, right. no, dude, it is, but two plus two also is. Yeah, but what about three plus one? That's also four. What about three plus one and one plus three? Like, look, man, it's two plus two is also in there. Oh, no, but but you got to look at three plus one. What about five minus one? Yeah. That's also four. What happened? What about ten minus six? six? That's also, also four. four. But, you know, back to our topic, you know, my, our episode's called Are We There Yet? And the reason I brought this up is because, you know, all these restrictions we were having, all this stuff we had, lockdowns, all you know, etc. You can go on all the topics that's been happening. Sure, sure. So I'm just wondering, you know, are we there yet? And then we were talking about what's the next media takeover. Yeah, And I brought course. up the aliens. Yeah. Are, are we there yet? You know, are Ooh. we there yet to where they're or, ready to let us or, know about it? Or, or asteroid coming to hit the Earth. Yeah. Are we there yet? Are we yet? there yet? You know, like, are they ready to tell us the truth? They always say if they tell us we're we're going to panic, we're the panic society. And we know we do overreact, but we do get over it also. I don't think, speaking on that, and I'm going to have to just change gears a little bit here, I don't think we do overreact. I think a lot of it has to do with 
the narrative that they constantly push, and it forces people to overreact. Yeah, the if media. they would just tell us the truth of what's really going on, I'm pretty sure people would act like mature adults and handle it. You would hope so. And, and, I think and there's they only would. one way to find out. You know, do it. And I think if the media would support us in a positive manner versus trying to force negativity and um, craziness and uh, what, 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 um, make us feel like, you know, terrified all the time, I think if they would cha- flip that around, I think that would make it better and yeah. people would handle it better. And it's like, you know, time for concerts, live shows. Are we there yet? Oh, dude, I'm ready really, for that. I'm ready. I know Listen, we're ready, but are we there yet? You this know, that's year, the one question. You know, are we there yet? Megadeth and Lamb of God were supposed to come. Yeah. And I was excited for that show. Riff Fest canceled. I'm bummed. Uh, it, w- nothing. We got nothing. Not Numerous that. occasions. And like myself, you know, I was, like I said, I'd be watching sports right now like crazy. Baseball would be going on. Yep, yep. Oh, my gosh. It'd be all, all crazy right now. Are we there yet? That's what we want to know. Are we we're there ready. yet? We're ready. I know we're ready to be there, but we want to know if we're there. What about songs that tell you to do stuff that make no sense? Yeah, what's up with that? Like On the songs that, that are always telling you to do shit, and you're like, well, you know, I like the beat, I like the groove, and I, what the hell? Why? I don't know if I want to do what you're talking about, but like, I'm still going to dance to it. Pour some sugar on me. First of all, I ain't pouring sugar on shit, and you ain't pouring no sugar on me because I'm not getting all sticky. You know how many fucking ants and flies are going to come after you and probably bees? Yeah, you're going to be covered in bees and flies and ants, and it's going to be gross, and then nobody's going to want to have any interest in you. There was an old R&B song. They said, uh, you remind me of candy-coated raindrops. I'm like, that would have been sticky as hell, too. That That, kind of would have sucked. No, that doesn't That's probably about a girl you didn't really like. And think about this. Candy-coated raindrops? That's going to hurt falling from the sky. Yeah, it'd be like fucking getting hit with a Skittle. What if there was a torrential downpour of candy-coated raindrops? Or like a jawbreaker, small jawbreakers, oh. cracking you in the face. Oh, it's chipping, like hail. Chipping like... your teeth, blacking your eyes, hitting you in the mouth, nose, bloody lip. You know, it's it's going to mess your day up. Your car windshield's going to get cracked. You know, you're going to have to replace your sod. It's not a good day for anybody. It's going to ruin your whole day. Whole day. You know... And then how about, um, let's go on to another band. How about Lick It Up? What am I licking up? Yeah, what the hell? Did you spill honey on the counter? What if I'm not hungry? Exactly. I what might, if I don't like spicy food? It might not be my time to eat because I like to intermittent fast. Is there a nutmeg in it? I got a nut allergy. Yeah, exactly. Oh, fuck your nut allergy. I really don't have one, but I'm just saying. I know saying. you don't. But yeah, people with nut allergies, get your shit together. For real. Get uh, some nuts. Yeah, lick it up. What am I licking up? What am I doing? And why am I doing it? Uh, how about photograph? I don't want your photograph. Well, who is this random person handing out photographs that you don't want? Why are they doing it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't need your photograph. No, I don't. I don't need your photograph. I can get it in my phone. Thank you. What about don't stop till you get enough? There you go. Enough of what? What am I getting enough Whatever of? Whatever it is, I guess you're supposed to stop when you get enough. What if you don't know when you have enough of it? Exactly. These I, days, we overdo everything. How about ice cream? I don't how know. How am I supposed to know when I had enough? I I don't know when I've had enough ice cream. I would like an infinite supply of ice cream. Thank you very much. And then what about you can't touch this? How do you know I can't touch this? If you're close enough, I could probably touch that. I'm pretty damn fast for a fat I'm guy. I'm fucking fast. I could He's probably touch that fast. if you're close to me, dude. Yeah, you, he might be able to do it. So If you're turning around, talking somewhere, signing an autograph, boom, I touch that. MC Hammer, challenge. He can touch that. For real. Um, we appreciate you guys hanging with us. Like I said, me and him have a blast doing this stuff. And uh, if you guys are enjoying this, uh, hit, us, hit us with a like and a subscription. We'd appreciate it. We really like it when you guys subscribe and give us those likes. That helps us keep this ball rolling, people. And we uh, we love doing this. This is, this is very much the highlight of my week every week. For sure. And uh, you can reach me again on Instagram at the Weirheim one and you can reach me on Instagram at one take will. And this has been another episode of Meant to Vent. We're out of here. Bye.